future one. Still have it? Oh my god, he had it! Oh, sorry. <gasps> Did you just see that? That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Finally got a decent. What up all you addicts out there? Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. We are here on a Washington coastal lake chasing largemouth bass. Make sure you guys comment below. Let us know if you guys like largemouth fishing. If you want to see more of this or what type of fish you guys want to see us chasing. We can go anywhere in the northwest and chase after anything that swims we just love fishing so comment below let us know how you guys are liking these addicted life episodes and stay with us today it's going to be a fun day we're going to try to get some top water explosions on some big baits should be fun travis is going to put his new trolling motor to the test hopefully it doesn't rip through this nice thick 1990 aluma weld uh look at this i'll let it ride though Dude, it'll be fine Dude, yeah but i have 36 sex. volts through eight or 10 gauge wire. So I got my fire extinguisher out. We we're gonna die, Sean. It's gonna be fun though. Take it, you fucker. Dude, he hit it like three times in a row. Dude, look at what this bass just tried to eat. That's a bass! It tried to eat that. Did you see it blow up like three times on it? Yeah, that is not what we're looking for, Trav. I've never even seen a bass that small. <gasps> Did you just see that? That was a nice one. That was a nice one. How did I miss it? He felt metal like I felt him pull back. That was a nicer fish. <sighs> Pliers would be pretty cool. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Oh, little guy. Oh, nicer one. Uh, A little bit nicer one. Oh, that fucking line, Travis, just broke. Me and Travis have found one, like, well, but probably one and a half pounder so far. That's all we've been able to find, and we've just dealt with a lot of shit, so. We are getting ready to start hitting these docks, though. I have a feeling that's where a lot of these fish are hanging out with the water temperature. We're gonna hopefully hit some of these docks and be able to use Travis's new trolling motor to spot lock us on the docks and be able to pitch in there and fish it exactly how we want. So we're super excited about it. I know this episode's been pretty boring so far. There ain't much going on, but we're about to get on some big fish, so stay tuned. Look at that, dude. He f***ing ate an entire f***ing worm. He bit it off. That wasn't even under the dock. That was in front of it. Ooh. Finally got a decent guy. All right, so we finally got to the docks. We've been freaking trying all day to find decent fish, and I pretty much knew that there was going to be there was going to be some good sized fish underneath these docks. They always seem to hang out under here in the warm weather. So we got to them. First cast with a Senko. Boom. Got one. So Travis got a, a decent one earlier today too. About a pound and a half. But this is more kind of what we're looking for. Is guys, this and bigger. So hopefully we can get more. Let's let them go. See you later, Julio. Does he still have it? Oh my god, he had it. I'll pull him in the boat. <laughs> oh, got him in his eye. Sorry, buddy. Got him right there in his eye. That is not going to be fun for you. We're going to call you One-Eyed Jim. 
Hey, everyone out there watching, you ready for me to catch another fish? Game time. So what I like to do with these Senkos is I fish them extremely slow. What's nice is when you bring that Senko up, it kind of falls and the tail kind of wags as it falls. And I've found, dude, that those fish, they just can't, they can't resist it when you do that to them. So let's see if I can get a little farther underneath that dock. There you go. See him? Did you see him hit that, Sean? Oh no! Swing in a minute! Dude, that was me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Nothing. Dude, you could see him hit that. Oh shit. Got him. Oh come on. Travis spooked them all out of there. What? Your lame cast. We kind of came up and backed down into it. Spot lock us though in front of this, like out farther first before we actually fish the dock. Okay? Like out here. Because there's, see that wood? There's more of that in there. So let's try to see if there's any fish hanging on those suspended. Come on. What the hell, Trav? Nothing? Uh uh. That was a perfect cast too. Kind of like fly fishing, you know. I'm trying to match the hatch. I guess that's what you think. Then fish. I don't know what the fuck I got snagged on in there. Did you have a bite? Yeah. Sure you did, Travis. Sure you did, buddy. The little one biting me right now. It's like so little, it can't even get hooked. Dude, I love when you set up for a bite because you just do this, you go, you're... You just freeze, you go... Look at that short little fatty. That one's beautiful though. Dude, that's a fish tank worthy fish right there. See you there, Sylvester. I have a feeling this this next shore, like going to that next dock, we're gonna get a fish off. I just I think stuck. it's so weird that we were anchored and we're moving and we didn't have to pull anchor. Pretty much if you're a bass fisherman and you don't have a Tarova, what are you doing? You better have an Altera. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Little guy. He was just wrapped around the log. But... Yeah, he wrapped around. I mean, it's not bad. He wants to do laps right now. Such a cool fish. Ow, he just bit me. It's like, put me back in. I've never had a bass bite down on my hand before. It's not bad. It's heavy. <laughs> Rip that thing completely out of the water. Oh, where are the big ones, dude? These fish are being tough on us today, dude. They are not wanting to be in the normal spots. We got what one nice fish off the docks? Two? Wanna well, know something cool? What's that? It's not even noon yet, dude. That's crazy. I'm so freaking pumped. The old Texas rig creature got him. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. They want something different. These fish are deeper for sure. I think we need to switch methods, Trav, and go all uh, drop shot or Texas rig, get down into that deeper water and and dig them out of there. I feel like we should make some passes trolling through here. Trolling for bass. What? They're in here, they'll eat this shit too. Like this guy eating my shit right now. Oh my god, he just let it go. Nice fish. 
Fuck my fish on. Oh, it's fucking solid. He's freaking getting me. Found them, dude. They're off these ledges in the deeper water. That's a solid one. A lot of males, though. We're not getting any females. That's what they're wanting right there. All we're doing today with this, we decided to slow it down and get to the bottom. We just got a Texas rig. This is a Gary Yamamoto creature bait. Purple something flake. I can't remember the color, but any color will work. I'll show you guys how to rig that here in a second, but first of all, I gotta catch more fish. They just wanna nibble on it, they don't want it. The key is the back cast. You can see a piece of structure and I cast it on it. Just holding it here is getting hammered, but I couldn't hook him. What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Dude, this is ridiculous. Like, I bet you I could get the fish to come to the boat just hitting this thing. Why did you catch that fish, Travis? I think I'm retired for the day. I told you there was one over by that log. Look at how chunky she is. Basically what we're doing, we're rigging it weedless. So, I'm gonna take it off there. This is basically just a gamagatsu wide gap. We're gonna take the first little section of the head here, insert it in basically to the turn. And then you're gonna pop it out. And then when you pop it out, you're gonna slide it up the hook and turn it as you're doing that. And then what this little thing's for is that's your keeper. So you're gonna slide it up onto there over the line just like that and then what you're gonna do is put this hook back in bend it for a little bit and put it back in so it makes it straight and it makes it weedless and that right there if I can get it out here is a weedless Texas rigged creature let me get another fish You just switched to Texas rig already? I've missed about 30 fish, so whoever the drop shot master is, comment below and tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I'm never gonna do this again. Oh yeah, there he is, freaking giant! What up, little dude? Pissed Actually, I think this might be a girl. See you later, Samantha. Ooh, he wanted it. Turned out to be not a bad day today, Sean. What do you think? Getting some fish, huh? Yeah. This one's pretty. We basically figured out that these fish want it slow, they want it on the bottom, they want it Texas rig, and we're rigging it weedless. Let's let, uh, what should we name him, dude? Osama? Let's let Osama go. All right, everyone, it was a long day today. Weather's turning on us, it's getting windy. Sean's gotta get home, so we're gonna call it a day. We caught a ton of fish, it was a blast. Let us know if you guys liked this episode. It was a lot of fun fishing this lake. It's something I haven't done since I was a kid. Been doing it a couple times this year, so. Let us know if you guys wanna see more largemouth fishing. We can do lots more of these episodes in the future. If you guys wanna see any other type of fishing, just comment below, let us know what you guys wanna see, and we'll see if we can make it happen. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, Addicted Life.